Welcome! In this episode we look at how to set up external hardware effects with Bitwig Studio. Using external hardware effects like the microcosm is a great way to breathe new life into your compositions because you can get very hands-on control over the actual effects. We'll begin by connecting the audio interface to our external effects pedal. What kind of cables you might need to connect your external effects processor might differ depending on if it's stereo or mono. And if you're using something like the Apollo Twin X audio interface, you could use uh, the line outputs uh, numbered 3 and 4 to connect to the input of your effects processor. The input on the microcosm is a mono stereo TRS input, so you can select it to be mono or stereo. And uh, today I'm using it with a stereo telecable, 3.5 telecable. And I connect that to uh, the output of uh, my audio interface. So now we can send audio from the audio interface into the effects pedal. The next step is to connect the output of our hardware effect to our audio interface. And for that we're using the output left and the output right ports of the microcosm with this blue and black cable and connect that to the input ports of the audio interface so that we can get the affected audio or the processed audio back to the audio interface and ultimately into our DAW. Okay, so that's how you do the cable setup. Now let's jump into the DAW Bitwig Studio and look at how we actually make this work with the hardware effects device. Right, so in Bitwig Studio I have an instrument track with an instance of the Vital Synth and a preset called Kalimbada from my Omega presets pack for the Vital Synth. And it's a quite dry sound. So let's insert an instance of the hardware effect. So press the plus sign and start for H and W and select the hardware effects device. Now we can use this hardware effect on the same track as an insert effect, but we're going to make use of the send effects instead. So we can just move this little effect over to the effect track or send effect track. The next step is to set up the output and the input ports of the hardware effect. So press uh, the output port and select add bus. The Bitwig dashboard settings audio is the place to add the available input and output ports of your audio interface. And you can see I have a ton of input buses and output buses already defined. You can basically just add as many stereo or mono ports that you need for your particular audio interface. Next up we select the output port selector again and select the send output 3.4 because that's uh, the output port I'm using on the send tour. So now we're sending audio to the hardware effect and now we need to select the input port. Next up we press the input selector and in my case I'm using stereo input 7 but in your case you might be using stereo input port 1. So I select stereo input 7 the next step to be able to hear something is to add a little bit of sand to that effect track. And I've uh, recorded a, a little arpeggio here that will play in the background so I can focus and fiddle on uh, the microcosm. Now as we're using the microcosm as a send effect we have uh, the mix knob set to 100% on the microcosm and we can adjust the amount of effect that we want with this uh, send knob on the specific track. And of course we can also send other tracks to this same uh, effect send and to the microcosm. So let's drag this Omnisphere track also to send. And 
med som reverb. Be aware that using hardware effects like this will introduce a little bit of latency to the audio when it's sent from the audio interface to the effect unit and back into the audio interface. But you can always defeat this latency with the latency compensation. And uh, in this hardware effect, we have this little button here, which you can press, which will send a signal to the microcosm and back to the, to the audio interface. And it will uh, learn what kind of delay that's introduced. First, we need to bypass the effect. So bypass the microcosm and uh, press the latency compensation button or latency learn button. And we learned that there's about 10 milliseconds uh, delay in uh, the signal before it comes back into the audio interface. Okay, so that's uh, how you set up an uh, external audio effect unit to work with the Bitwig Studio. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And if you want to learn more about using Bitwig Studio, I highly recommend that you sign up to my Bitwig Studio Masterclass at store.monitumedia.com. There's always links in the description to the course. Thanks for watching today. See you in the next episode. Bye.